Okay guys, so here we are reviewing the Mega City Menace. Now this looks pretty like skew with like wow, so weird. So it's pretty cool looking, also weird and a bit retrospective, just I don't even know guys, it's just pretty weird so again the 1500 points just as a guide guys i'll go over so 2400 points costs around 20 dollars. that's around 17 british 1100 costs around 10 dollars. that's around eight british i'm averaging it and rounding it down but you get an idea guys so you know how much you're spending so here's 1500 pounds coins points call of duty points let's forget it's not pounds let's check out if it's worth it guys and let's give it a quick review Okay, so going into the Mega City Menace, I mean, you've seen what I think of the first bit. Dynatron, so it's a light machine gun. Let's check that out, guys. So the Dynatron has got a muzzle, a barrel, ex ultra light barrel, nice. Good optics, XRX axis stock, ammunition, 30 rounds, and this looks epic, guys. So this is a legendary blueprint, and you can tell it's a legendary blueprint. It definitely stands out as legendary in my books. Now let's give it a spin around look the, the way it chromes out and glows like i mean you're gonna know when you see someone on the field that that is legendary so that is definitely pretty cool let's see if we can get a closer look down sights the optics i mean they should have done something with the optics to be honest i like what they've done with the barrel the gold tip is definitely cool the mag's my favorite but guys the mag just looks ultra sleek I mean here when somebody holds it it's cool i think the back i like the way it's empty on the back and there's nothing on it um, the optics, I think they should have done that. You would expect something like, at this sort of money, to be honest, because it's not cheap, but it's not expensive. But you would expect, as well as all this logos and this graphics and this graffiti all over it, you would expect something in the site, you know, a nice little alien face or something cool like that. Or since it's to go with a gold barrel, maybe a gold halo, that would have been nice. I think that would have really jammed it up. But that is cool, guys. You know, you you got to say, for the money, that alone is pretty cool. So then we've got Uncertain futures submachine gun now i love my submachine guys you know i love the submachine guns i think they're pretty epic it's a bit strange that it's just the same but i like the way they've changed up the back guys and the mag look at that Oof. i mean you're gonna see them coming with that aren't you i think that's pretty cool i mean that definitely is cool let me see again what it's got on it guys so we've got compensator tat laser g1 mini reflex i like the reflex and um, I have to go on it each time. F F S F S S Guardian stock. Mm. That is a nice stock. Look at it. So the stock's the back bit, guys. Look at the way it's going round for the shoulder. That is really cool. Anyone in the armed forces will appreciate something like that. It's really good. Commander foregrip on the barrel. Mm. Yeah, that's a nice commander foregrip. I like the way when they're putting on these graphics, guys, that they're not covering the whole lot. So you've got this plane on the front, on the under barrel, and then the back, just above the stock, guys, you've got a plane. I really do like that. Let's have a quick closer look at it. So when we have a look closer look, you can see the graphics going out throughout the whole of the gun. Look really cool. The gold on the tip and the yellow just sets it off on fire. Again, we have the mag with this yellow graffiti going down it and the logo above. Skulls just looks really uber cool. Again, we're going on the Halo. Now, I do love my Halo sights. You guys know I absolutely love my quick draw sights. I think they're amazing in real life and in game. I think they're absolutely a must have. But again, I feel like we should have had some kind of extra. Oh, I like the bullet down there. That's pretty cool. And the little hanger there if you want to put your shirt up. But I think again, we should have had something on the Halo guys in the sight. Some gold little circle in there just to aim and target up i think that would have been pretty cool but overall it's a pretty good graphic it's a pretty good skin for a gun again just like the other one here the dynatron the uncertain futures is definitely a good gun now i mean at 1500 so we're talking about about 12 dollars if we were to average it up we're going about 12 dollars or about 10 uk i think that's pretty good just for these two so the golden bullet let's check this out it's the charm oh that's the bullet but wait a minute, didn't we get that bullet here anyway? Did, didn't we get the bullet? We had the bullet there, so why are you charging me for it here? No, I don't like that, guys. I don't like that. You're giving us a bullet that we already have, so no. Hive mind, I mean hive mind, that's pretty cool. The idea of a hive mind is pretty cool. Let's see how it plays off. So, I mean, hive mind, the idea of a hive mind is it's a collective community that makes one mind. So the hive makes the thought process, several people coming together or a ton of them. Here, you don't see that. You're just seeing, I don't know, like an alien leader. Pretty cool though, but I mean, not over cool. So overall, is it worth it? I mean, 
Look guys, I'm going to do it again. I mean, on, on an overall score, I think six. I want to give it a seven out of 10, but I think a six out of 10. It is a buy, I would say buy this, but I think it should be 1100 because that's what you can buy a bundle at. 1100 Call of Duty points costs around eight pounds British, around $10. And I think that's where it should be at. But would I buy it if I had the extra points lying around in the account? Like I had a few points left over and I'm going to buy that. I would buy it, but I think it should be 1100 So it's, yeah, I think it's a solid six, six out of 10. I think it's a really good pack. Guys, if that has helped you out to decide whether you want to buy the Magna City Menace, smash that thumbs up. With that being said, I'll catch you in the next one.